Hey everybody, Sci-Fi Molitor here. Today I wanted to go over the uh, Bandai Star Wars Rogue One Red Squadron X-Wing Starfighter. And this is the special set that comes with two. One uh, 172 scale and one 144 scale. Uh, you see the size difference here. This is the resistance fighter I put together on the right. And this is the 144 scale X-Wing that I put together from this kit. And the 144 scale comes together really really easily uh, pretty quickly I haven't uh, painted oh I think I put a tiny bit of paint on the on the engines there but haven't finished that one as far as painting it but uh, assembly wise it's really really cool so this like I said this comes with uh, two kits the one nice thing about this kit or one of the one nice one of the nice things about this is the fact that yes all of these kits always come with uh, stickers and decals but in this specific kit I think this is the only kit available that actually has decals for the 144 scale kit so that's pretty cool that's uh you know that, that's pretty awesome the, the if you buy the 144 by itself that kit only has the stickers so one point of interest that I did not know even after being a huge Star Wars fan didn't realize this until after I started putting these uh, models together you can see here this this is a uh, one side one side of the cockpit this goes on the other side of the cockpit on the wings the call signs of the x wings are based on how many of these stripes you have on each wing so right now this is designated as red one because it only has one of these small stripes so this one i'm putting together is based on dax i'm sorry it's based on wedge dax is a snow speeder guy sorry uh lost my head there this is based on Wedge, which is uh, Red 2. So basically, this comes with um, these red stripes to add here. So if you wanted to do uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, to do Porkins, you can add these stripes on, on each side. So for me, I'm just going to add one stripe on each to make uh, Red 2. I guess this is for Wedge. The original kit that came out uh, with the base of the... Death Star, that one's uh, already Red 5, and it, this the decals are set up for Red 5 already. So this one, this kit, you can basically make any one you want. So I'm going to make um, a Red 2 and a Red 3, because I, I have a few of these. And uh, this one, like I said, it's going to be Wedge, Red 2. So, Alright, so as you can see, or sh as you're sure you all know by now, these are pretty nice kits. They go together really well. Hardly any glue required, if any at all. And on this kit, they start you off doing one X at a time. So they have you basically go and do one, one, uh, one of the X wings, and you put that together. Um, now, another nice thing about these kits is I go ahead and I prime these. When I, I open up the box, I take this bruise out, I separate out the the colored ones and the clear. And just with the standard white or base base color ones, I prime those all those uh, all these gray. I did that ahead of time, and that works out because since you don't have the glue, the glue won't melt the primer, and and then you get a mess, which happens to me a lot on, on other models. So that's why I wait till the end to uh, to paint or prime. But on these, you can prime right away, and that that sort of uh, makes it a little easier on you. So here's uh, one of the X wings right here completed. And they show you where to put uh, decals on these. So what I'm going to do on this one is I'm going to paint this the color that I formulated with, which is uh, one part Tamiya XF66 to 10 parts of flat white. And and that, I didn't make that up. I found that online with uh, other guys. So And I made a journal to make sure I kept track because there's so many little variances then. The other X-Wing I did, I, I used that and that seemed to be a good color, so I'm going to stick with that for now. So I'm going to paint this, complete it, and then I'm going to decal it. This is a lot easier to decal it when it's flat and, you know, if it's assembled, then, then you only have a certain space when you open up the X-Wings to uh, put the decals on. So I'm going to do one X-Wing at a time and decal each and move from there. So the other... the hardest part in these I think are 
the actual cockpits if you you know if you want to go all out on the cockpits you could just decal them and just move forward but i like to actually paint them they, they seem more alive that way so so that's probably what's going to take the longest on these um based on my first x-wing experience and you can see here there's the pilot so you see my finger there the size of my fingers and the size of the pilot so you see how small it is but um wedge had uh gray sides in the helmet and the center piece was white so it's gonna be pretty easy just to paint down there so that's the pilot and that's the where the archery unit goes in so basically these parts you paint a different color and you just go ahead and do that and then they fit in pretty well all, all these all these kits fit really well there's hardly any spacing i mean you see right here there's only like two spots that I actually use glue on here and you see how well everything fits together now talking about that i've mentioned this before but uh just to uh, double down on it if you're in the middle of assembly one of these and the pieces aren't going together stop what you're doing and look at the instructions make sure you have the correct piece in your hand make sure you're doing it the right way because the, these pieces go together nicely if you're having to cut and and finagle to get it to fit you're doing something wrong okay so just keep that in mind all right so the other thing is i gotta figure out what color red this is and they said it's part russet red and part red so i'll let you guys know what i come up with on that because uh i do want to paint this as well so all right this is my progress so far on this one and um until the next time see you guys later